Welcome to this short tutorial on how to get started with Minecraft education as part of the Design Future London Challenge. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download, login, and navigate Minecraft education to open the Design Future London world. I'll also share how to have your students join a multiplayer world and how to prepare a submission video. So let's get started. The first step is to download Minecraft education. To do this, open your favorite browser and go to aka.ms forward slash download. Click download now to begin your download. Once downloaded, double click the file to begin installing the application on your computer. The second step is to open Minecraft education and log in. If you requested free licenses as part of the Design Future London program, please use the provided username and password to log in. After logging in, navigate to New and Featured, and find and select the Design Future London World. Click Create World to open the Design Future London World. Now that you're in the Design Future London World, to enable multiplayer, hit Escape on your keyboard, navigate to the Multiplayer tab, hit Start Hosting, and you'll be presented with a join code. This join code is for your students to connect to your world. You'll be able to provide your students with this join code and they'll be able to input it on their device to join your world. The best practice is to have four to five students in one group at once. To do this, split up your classroom as you would with any group project. Assign one group leader to be the host and for their group mates to join them in the same fashion. Now you can navigate through the Design Future London world, meet with NPCs, and eventually end up at the build plate. Once there, you'll be able to start building. These construction manager NPCs will be able to help you clearing certain zones of the map. This will make it a lot easier for you to build. Once you're ready to submit, use your favorite screen capturing tool to record your submission. Don't forget to include important reasons as to why you designed your solution the way you did. Once you're done recording and are happy with your submission, Submit it to the Design Future London submission page. 